I just wanted to get a, some advice on this fourth axis I got. I believe they called it the like phase two. It's a six inch. And I tore it down because um, it was kind of rough. It was running a little bit rough. And I knew that, you know, there was probably a bunch of gunk inside there and I needed to get it cleaned up because I'd never torn it down before. And I want to convert this to CNC. And initially, I'd made a plate and stuff to put back here and drive it, but that was really stupid of me. That didn't work very well. So um, I noticed a couple of things was happening. Was that I was getting some binding in here, some grinding, um, after I took it apart, cleaned it, and put it all back together. And it could have been me not adjusting this nut here properly. So I've already taken it apart. I want to show you a couple of things. The way this one works is that um, you've got these two slots here that use a tool to tighten that nut with. And then a screw goes in here to tighten that up. So once, I guess, you get your preload and whatnot, then you tighten that down. And I, I could have over-tightened it when I did it. And there's a, uh, you know, a washer here. And then inside you'll see the bearings, right? And then another washer on the back of it. And it just drives straight through. Okay, so let's look at the first issue that I ran into after I put it together is this. Okay, it's definitely grinding. And when it's tightened down, I hit a spot to where it's much tighter and then it'll kind of give way like that. So I'm not sure what that's all about. Because I don't remember that doing that when I first got it, but I really didn't use it a lot. And um, so I'll tear that down in a minute. And then here's the second issue right here is what you use to uh, just out your, well, if you engage it, but you can also set it up to where you adjust for backlash, which actually works pretty good. Um, it took me a bit to figure it out, but you can't get this out, this rod without there's two set screws right here I couldn't get it out at first and then dummy me I turned it upside down found the set screws and when you take those set screws out you can just pull it straight out and you've got this bracket right here that you adjust that's another place where you can adjust with set screws how far in to push it um, to for the backlash I guess compensation there and then that slot right there is where those set screws from the bottom go in and engage that right there and that's why it wouldn't come out so here's the other issue and I'm pretty much figured out what I'm gonna do I just don't know where I'm gonna get the part but anyway with this nut right here let's see if we can get it this nut right here you tighten down on this shaft right which pulls this in Okay, and then you want to get all the play out of that. When that's completely pulled in, there's a rough spot in there, real rough, like about a quarter rotation where something's binding in there. So my thought was, let me pull that off. My thought was if I could get a bearing that is um, similar, let me see if I can get it out. Uh, all right, hold on. That is similar to this bearing, and then put it right here. Put it right there to where when it um, when it, it mates on that rod, then there'll be a bearing surface there. That's just kind of something I'm toying with. I'm not exactly sure. So now let's take a look at, I just pulled that plate off there. So inside here, here's the other plate, and then there's the gears right there that mesh with this. And again, like I said before, I had completely taken this down and cleaned it up, spotless, no grease. But now, don't know if you can see it, that's full of shavings, metal shavings all around here. Now I didn't see any shavings here in the spline, 
uh, but I did find a couple in here, just real small ones. So I don't think the issue is going to be that. Again here, all this right here, those little dark spots you see, that's metal on metal shavings. And I can't quite figure out what's going on there. What I may do, possibly, is this bearing right here. I never did, I could never get that bearing off. It's a press fit and I didn't even try, but I did take this outside off, put it all back together, blew air in there, cleaned out the bearings and then repacked them. Um, what I'm thinking is, do I create some sort of a shim for this inside diameter to where this mating surface and this mating surface are not completely, um, I don't know what the word is. I just think I need to pull that this plate up a little bit because of the way it's grinding on this. Um, I don't know. I don't know anything else that I could do to stop that because it is it is pretty severe and it takes a lot of torque to get this thing to turn and then the stiction too man it takes a lot to break this um, to break the force of this to get it to move it takes quite a bit you know and it's oiled very well the passages you know it comes in from the top right there it's where the oil comes in then follows those passages around also this single passage right here Hmm. But yeah, between those problems right there, I'm not exactly sure. And was just wondering if anybody ever rebuilt one of these, maybe put different bearing sets in there. But I really think I'm going to have to shim that to bring that plate up. Um, Because I believe it's just too tight right now when I tighten that down. It sucks it in so hard against this metal on metal plate, even though there's... You know, lubrication there. Anyway, um, curious about your thoughts.